When I went in on no jewels yesterday, I should have did this. Fake ass tears, basically. I haven't done this in a while, and this is the first time I'm actually showing you guys how I do this. I've done this to Megan Kelly, done this to Tommy Lauren, and people hate it. And now it's her turn, this disgusting pig. I've already said everything that I've said to uh, and about her, and um, you guys are just basically seeing the outcome of her little alligator tears or crocodile tears, whatever. Anybody that talks claims like they're about, you know, like they think that they have a past because they might have some attention from some black people because of the line of work that they're in, you know, supposedly hip hop, right? But yet they still have these racist attitudes. Well, let me tell you this. This is a new day. Nobody's going to stand for that anymore. Trust me. And those that do that to us now can get seriously, like, wrenched. Because we have a, 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 our areas of clapping back. We might not have as much power as you do, but it doesn't mean that we can't say anything and that we won't say anything. Especially if you're a snake like this pig. Oh, I think that was the wrong color. Let me uh, put something on there. Think that guys dig you because of your butt or whatever from what you said? You look like a sneech. A star-bellied sneech. You know that those Dr. Seuss, like... Um, the Dr. Seuss characters... I'm not I don't find you attractive, man. Just by the way that you are. You're you're a pig. And I I just think that that's pretty disgusting. And so you want to talk about black people killing each other and all that and make all this and have people like Soldier Boy give you all this big up. Well, not all of us are cool with that. We don't dig you like that. And I'll tell you this, I come from the age of hip hop when it was political. And um, even the gangsters were political. It wasn't all, you know, I, I can't down the new generation. But um, our hip hop was a lot different. We didn't let stuff like what you're doing pass. Think about it. MC Search tried to freaking um, diss MC Hammer. Granted, I wasn't an MC Hammer fan back in the day, but. That guy actually was doing some positive stuff in our communities. And um, he, he got, yeah, put it like this. It wasn't good for MC Search for a long time. Trust me. You know? So we need to kind of like get into that again. Start checking these pigs. These kooks of hazards trying to infiltrate. I have nothing against white people being into hip hop at all. I have friends that are white that rap. But the thing is, you better stay in your lane and watch yourself. Because the thing is also, you, if, you're in, if you're not respecting um, where you're at and the house that you're in, you're going to be called out for it. We want nothing to do with pigs like you. Yes, jewels or no jewel. Because this is what you do. You're a pig and you're a freaking devil. You choose to be. You won't get away from it with us. Not at all. Make sure that this dilapidated horn is what it is so people see what this asp is pretty much. Anyways, shoot, this is just their true personality to me. It's 
So you guys might think that I'm crazy for doing this. But yeah, I'm just showing you how it's done calling these pigs out. I think because she thinks that because she has some Puerto Rican background that um, it gives her a pass to just talk shit about black people. First of all, you being Puerto Rican does not qualify you to do what you're doing. Second of all, there's different kinds of Puerto Ricans. You don't look like the black kind. You don't even look like the mixed black kind let alone anywhere near Mesti uh, Mestiza or Arawak. So, as far as I'm concerned, you're a white supremacist. You're white, Latino white supremacist. So, yeah. Eat dirt for all I care. All right, guys. I'm out.